Hi again, team. Just wanted to go over the changes uh, in the last few builds you might have missed. Uh, just some small changes. If you go to Adjust and Value, you'll see that this panel has changed from a horizontal uh, layout to a uh, vertical one. And also the histogram has changed to the, uh, the more modern style that we've been using uh, over here on the sidebar. Uh, before you could uh, you could click in here and and scale the uh, histogram, but that has been removed because it just does a much better job of uh, finding the uh, the outliers and filtering them out. So it always kind of displays uh, to the correct size. You don't have to you don't have to manually manually adjust that. So that's one small change. Also, if you look at adjust, let's see levels. This has also been updated to uh, use that new style there. And let's see. Threshold. If you go to the threshold filter, uh, this creates a binary image, just black and white or, or white. Um, nothing's really changed here except for when you open the filter, it makes an initial first guess uh, where this level should be by taking the average color of the entire image and uh, using that as the level. So just kind of a nicety. It just gives you an, an initial guess. So when you go, go into levels, excuse me, when you go into, uh, oh, what the heck was it? <laughs> Threshold. Um, it's already on an image that already, you can kind of tell what it is most in most cases. And you don't have to really do much to it to get get it to look like what you're trying to get it to look like all right so biggest change uh, would be in the Clahi filter there is one new parameter and uh, the idea here is there's a thing called uh, multi-layer contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization and there's probably a few more letters in there but uh, what the multi-layer does is um, well, let me explain that. So say we had set the block size to uh, 64. You can see this block size like this. And when you bring this all the way up, you see there's a lot of little fine details in here that get a lot of uh, emphasis, emphasis um, which is great, except uh, since all these are so close together that it, it has a tendency to make the entire image look flat. And there's a... Uh, uh, because it's, it's really losing all that contour information. It's just emphasizing every single feature uh, equally. Um, but if you use a, a big block size, say 512, it, uh, it does a better job of emphasizing the, the larger details, the contours and stuff, kind of at the expense of these finer features. So um, really the only thing you could do would be use a, a sort of a middle value um, uh, but it doesn't really give you both at the same time. So what we've done now is what's called, uh, like I said, the multi-layer. Uh, in our case, I'm not going to call it multi-layer. I'm going to call it multi-frequency. So um, I'm not even going to guess how you pronounce it. Mf mfclahe. We need a better uh, and we need a better uh, one of those things. But multi, we'll call it multi-frequency clahi. Okay, all right. Um, but what we have now is uh, the default is one frequency, but now you can uh, set it up to more levels. So if I show those blocks again, you can see we have a uh, four by three grid of blocks, or maybe I'll just put it on four by four or here directly on four by three. That'll work. Uh, you can see those blocks are literal there, but if we uh, go from default to two levels, what you see is now we have sort of overlaid block layers of blocks or or frequencies of blocks. And if I keep bringing the frequencies up, you'll see this gets a little bit more and more complex. Uh, those blocks get more more overlaid. So we have both a large block and a small block all within the same image. So let me go back, turn the block, the show block, turn that off. And now you can see what's happening here is we still have a lot of that contour information in there. You can see it still has depth. The, the, the sensation of depth, but it's also emphasized a lot of these finer details as well, the, the little highlights and things, and just to uh, 
demonstrate that again. You can see the difference by turning that off, going back to one level. So that is the basic uh, theory behind that feature. So just a little change coming. Uh, let's see. I'll take. Actually, I'll show you one more thing you can do with this. Uh, since that RGB, it really brings out and exaggerates those colors. I'm going to hit OK, store a copy of that. Um, I'll undo that. I'll store a copy of the original, too. And let me go back to Clocky. And I'll just go into Luminance. And again, um, I'll hit OK, and I'll store a copy of that. And all we really need to do is we can uh, click on the colorful one, or sorry, we can click on that one, then the colorful one, and then we can just do uh, fade last action, and we can cross dissolve to uh, any level we really want between these. If we want more color, we can do that. If we want, you know, more, uh, you know, chrominance or luminance or whatever, just have it however we like it. Um, I'll put it right in the middle. Hit OK. Store a copy of that. There's one more thing I can do here that would make this a little sharper. Go to uh, Sharpen High Pass. Bring that all the way up. Hit OK. And now we've done some rather dramatic uh, changes to this image. Let's see. So let's get rid of everything but the original and the final product here. And you can go back to the original. And just like we did before, we can fade last action, and we can get any level of that effect we want. So maybe we want a little bit, maybe we want a want, want a lot. Uh, keeping in mind that whenever you do that, uh, that claw here, you're flattening the image. You're uh, you're making it seem flatter because all of the frequencies are coming out and getting closer to basically the same level. Is so if if you had a lawn with grass and all the blades of grass were the same height, you'd kind of have a flat looking lawn. It's kind of kind of what it's doing, but it also helps emphasize the uh, all the various details. So you got to you know pick a good compromise. I'll say again, right in the middle, uh, and call that the final product. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and talk to you later.